Hey, what is up, guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Brave Nine video. All right, today we'll be tackling the Evil Castle stages. Uh, floor. Wait, what floor am I supposed to do? I'm a bit confused. Sixteen. Yeah, yeah, fifteen is already done. So we will tackle floor sixteen to twenty. All right. So this one is gonna be a bit tricky, but I'm gonna show you guys the normal strategy. Okay, so you could possibly use something like this uh, What I'm displaying right here to get through this stage uh, A couple of units are core, like they are needed necessarily For example, Cecilia Alright, Cecilia is there Just to prevent this guy Alright, this is a warrior Alright, this boss is an evil castle butler If you don't put Cecilia right there His tiles are quite big and it's a skip So having Cecilia is going to help you immensely Okay, your mid struggle. It's not going to be everyone else. If you notice, all of these uh, evil castle mid, they all have very low HP. So whoever that hits them, even if it's a defender, they will die. But it's going to be the tough one is these three guys in front. So these are the evil castle silvery gatekeeper. All right, what makes them so special? All right, if you look at it, they have like 100,000 HP and they have 100% defense. So how do you reduce their defense? You have to hit them. All right, if you have, if you observe this skill right here, right? They are immune to debuff skill type and receive defense reduction and attack boost after receiving normal attack. So, every time you hit them, alright, with a normal attack, they will have their defense reduced by 20%. Alright, and every time also, they will increase their attack by 40%. So, you have to use multi hit unit to reduce their, their defense. But keep in mind, okay, if you reduce their defense, their attack also goes up. So, immediately when you reduce their defense, you have to kill them immediately. Which is why. Catherine is a good uh, candidate. Uh, you don't need Catherine at high skill level. You just need a Catherine plus zero because she can hit six times, right? So that's just going to be the only thing that you will need. All right, hit six times. And then we have Showman going in later to blow them up. Uh, that's the best strategy overall. All right, so we have a couple of things right here. Notice I have Seto. Just to tank a couple of hits from all of these guys. Cecilia is for skip, like I mentioned, for the boss. So Gloria at the back is a must because she will be able to silence some of these guys all of these maidens at the back they have charm all right if you don't have something uh, that prevents the charm because you have to use cecilia right here right so you have to use gloria at the back so gloria will be able to silence them so that they can't cast their charm on you so you can change rider with some other units that can skip all right and can hit very hard i mean relatively hard without buffs uh, you don't have to hit like super hard but rider is just to get rid of that mid and then Seto will jump in and hit that boss at the back. So Seto can be replaced with uh, Benshina. If you have Benshina, Benshina can work as well. So Seto uh, and Benshina, if they are both usable in that spot right there. Seto almost died right there. So notice I'm going to show you guys again. So we have Katarine going in, boom, boom, boom. And then Showman going in and blow them up right after. Boom, just like that. Okay, so Showman doesn't need buffs. You know, so he's a very good candidate right here. So this stage is, I would say, kind of tight in a way because if you notice one of the condition up there, it says no supporters. All right, no supporters is kind of hard, which is why you need something like Showman, which uh, cannot receive buff, but still will be able to dish out insane amount of damage because of his this skill right here. This skill right here, right? So yeah, no supporters means no buffs. So if you bring any other mages besides Showman, you might struggle because uh, there might not be enough damage if you want to achieve all of the requirements. Okay, so let me show you guys a dumb strategy that I did uh, before I re discovered this strategy. All right, maybe that will give you guys some idea on how you can cheese this as well. Yeah, I know this is a dumb strat. Uh, I s At first, this is the initial strat that I use. It's definitely a dumb one, all right? So I didn't know that you're supposed to use Katarine and Showman is supposedly the better candidate. So this is the, <laughs> initially I was using this strategy. All right, warriors, but no supporters. So therefore it's a bit, a bit luck based, right? So we go in with Lito, take care of that guy. And then we go in with Dwen, take care of the, the mid at the back. And then we go in with Christina, multi-hit. All right, the entire point is multi-hit and try to get rid of this guy as fast as I can. So obviously it didn't work. Didn't work super well right there, right? Okay, not sure if this is uh, this strategy still works. It works for me back then. I use something crazy like this throughout all the stages. Da -da -da. Because you need multi-hit to get rid of these guys. Um, to basically reduce their defense like I mentioned. Obviously, uh, Catherine is going to be much better. Uh-huh. 
Okay, I think we got this. I'm surprised that we actually got this. Yeah, this is the strat that I used last time. Um, <laughs> usable for sure, you can choose this stage with strategies like this for sure. Uh, all, of this, all of these five stages from 16 to 20, I actually choose uh, with all of these weird strategies. But I'm guessing not many players have Dwen. So if you don't have Dwen, it's kind of hard. Like for example, Dwen right there is to get rid of the mid at the back, right? Uh, I tried with Britain. Britain could not work um, because you can't bring supporters like I mentioned right here. So Dwen only will have enough damage to do that. So yeah, I'm, I'm very happy that Dwen was able to carry me this. But now that we have a better strategy, we're going to proceed with that strategy. Okay, so surprisingly, floor 17, you can actually use the same method as the one I showed you on the previous floor. Exactly the same lineup. Turn order, have to change a little bit. One, two, we go Gloria first. Cecilia later. Uh, Seto afterwards to skip and hit this, uh, what do you call this, this little mate. Alright, so let me show you guys. Alright, let me show you guys what is this all about. So again, the boss will hit skip, charm. Gloria going in. So again, they got silenced. Alright, so we work with Cecilia for the time being. I'm quite surprised Cecilia was able to do that. Okay. Okay. So from this point onwards, um, you know, Seto is the target. So all of them were suicide to Seto. Those with the low HP, except for these three high HP um, knights, right? So we go in with Katarin again. Boom, boom, boom. And then we go in with uh, Shomer next. Boom. So and then I think Seto will be the target. No, I think it's fine because Cecilia can whack them. Cecilia and Seto can whack them. So yeah, um, this one is kind of easy. Like you can see, same strategy with the previous one. But I'm just curious, if my Cecilia didn't one-shot that guy, will I still succeed? Um, you will still get this stage because Seto will jump in and hit this little mid. Yeah, I think you will still get through this stage easily. Shouldn't be any problem right there. So yeah, let me show you guys a different variation. Um, someone told me about this. You can actually use Wiggle and then Arisa, surprisingly. So Wiggle right here, replace Rydal in, put him back there. He is one, two, three, four, five, something like that. And then we place a Denarisa at the back. Uh, something like that could work as well. Alright, I just want to give you guys an alternate strat. Alright, something like this. 5, 6, yeah, I guess that one doesn't matter. Okay, so let's try this strategy. Uh-huh. Okay. Alright. So Wiggle going in. So your Wiggle will need one Fatal and one Rage for that to happen. So that's what I have on mine at least. So one Fatal, one Rage uh, for higher chance to, to make sure that happens. Okay, Seto plus 12 again uh, will help you immensely right here. So we go in with Katarine first. Boom, 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 and then showman, right? So quite straightforward. Bam. Bam. Okay, so again, Seto plus 12 is like so much of a big help. If you don't have Seto, you could replace with Benshina like I mentioned earlier in the video. But Benshina will need like around plus 13 or plus 14 or else it will not work smoothly. Okay, uh, I forgot to mention this earlier. Showman can be replaced. I completely forgot about that. Uh, if you do not have Showman, right, you could replace Showman with Garinov. So, uh, why can how can Garinov work and how does how does he provide anything right here, right? So Garinov, uh, notice that all of these guys, these units right here, whenever you multi-hit them, right, they will have their defense reduced and their attack increased, right? So Garinov will deal intense amount of damage based on enemy's attack. So the more attack they have, the more damage he will be able to deal. Now, you don't need high skill level for Garinov at all, so don't worry if you have a plus zero, just awaken him, give two rage runes, and he will do his job. So I'm gonna show it to you guys right here, in this floor. So we have one, two, Katarine, all right, three Garinov. For, you know what, for, for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna show you guys Benshina as well. All right, so in case you guys are doubting that you don't have Seto plus 12, can you use Benshina? Yes, you can. Alright, throughout all the flaws that I use at all, you can use Benshina. Uh, you need Wiggle to go in and one-shot the ball. Like that, yes. Okay, now that's a better one. So Benshina will go and hit the mid at the back. So now we got this. Now we got this. Okay, because my Wiggle failed to, to do what he's supposed to just now. 
uh, like I mentioned, because you can't bring supporters, right? So your Weagle won't have 100% crit rate. I have one Fatal and one Rage. So it's a bit of a... If you don't crit, you just try again. All right, Garen off. Boom. And yeah, I think we got this. So we can smack this lady with Cecilia right here. GG. Okay, so like you can see right there, uh, Catherine plus zero, Garen off plus zero. If you have Showman, it will be better. Showman needs plus 14 because Showman is needed for the next few stages as well. Not from 16 to 20th, but rather 21st to 25th. Uh, he is sort of very useful right there. So I do think that Building Showman is, is a good one after all. Okay, so let's go to floor 19. Okay, this one is a little bit tricky. And I'm gonna guess that a lot of players are gonna get stuck right here. Uh, you can't use the same strategy with Katarina or whatever. Because floor 19 is a bit different. You need to approach it with warriors. And I want to give full credits to one of the Asia member um, high level note right here. All right, he did post this very useful strat and his strat is actually pretty good. And I'm going to show you guys how you can do this. His strategy needs a Livia. So if you have a Livia, that's going to be the one that you can utilize. But if you do not have Livia, maybe add in or some, you know, insane uh, unit that can have high attack will work. So let me show you guys first before we jump into conclusions. Okay, something like that. Okay, so it's a bit tricky because these guys, the Evil Castle Gatekeeper, they are not positioned like in alignment where Catherine could hit them. Because there's two, these, two, two of these guys in front, right? And there's this guy at the back. So you sort of need to use Warriors, and then at the, the one at the back, you need to use Livia to take care of. Okay, let me try that again. That was weird. Uh, it's supposed to be... It's supposed to be a possible one. Why is it like failing right now? It's very awkward, man. Like I don't think this strat is has any weaknesses or based on my testing previously, it was fine. Okay, so Nia hits. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Grand dies. Dr. Morgan dies. So again, Gary off. Boom. Oh, this time it works. Okay, and then Livia going in. Yeah, this time it works. I have no idea why it didn't work the first time. Something must have changed a little bit then. Okay, so I figure out a way to do it without Livia. So you have to use Showman. Okay. Uh, Grand is still a must. So the reason why... You, uh, I didn't explain this earlier. The reason why you uh, need to bring Grand, right? Because if you bring any other units that can taunt, right? And it, you need a taunt, alright? You need a unit that can taunt. Uh, they can't activate their taunt because of these bloody units right here. They have this buff prohibition. So once you are buff prohibited, you cannot activate your taunt, which is very bad. Unless, let me think. Who is going first? Two, three. Wait, this guy is attacking first. Yeah, this guy is at So she is attacking first, so it's quite hard. Yeah, it's really hard. Yeah, it's really hard if you don't have Grand. Uh, you don't need high skill Grand. I think Grand plus three can work. Uh, ideally, it's just for the taunt because you want some units that can taunt. I can't think of anyone else that can taunt that cannot be buff prohibited because everyone else can be buff prohibited. Unless you bring one more supporter to John or something, but nah, that then deployment is too much. But this is a strategy that you can use without uh, having Livia. So I'm going to show you guys the strat. So obviously BDMN and Dr. Morgan combo right here. Okay, so that guy hits. So he dies from Seto counter. So BDMN going in, right there. And then we have Dr. Morgan go bottom, right there. Okay, so the rest is just miracle from this point onwards. Okay, so we will have a bunch of them suiciding into, into Seto and Gran. All right, next to each other. So I believe Gran will die and it's okay. So she hits me, no problem. Gary not go. Alright, and then we have Showman hit the last guy. Boom. Okay, so like, you s like you've seen, uh, strategy works well, but I can't figure out a way to do it without Grand, but I think there is a way. There must be a way. I just didn't think hard enough. So hopefully if you guys know any other methods, uh, just share below in the comment section. I'm sure all the other uh, players who don't have Grand would appreciate it. Okay, so move on to the next stage, Floor 20. Okay, this is the last stage, uh, and it's not actually that hard. Uh, same concept applies, right? You still need a bunch of units. Uh, you can see now it's better. The, surprisingly, 19 is harder than 20, in my opinion. 
So now it's just back to the Catherine uh, combo that we used earlier. You can actually use that right here. So let me set it up for you guys. Okay, so one, whoa, whoa, it's all messed up. One, two. Yeah, this will work. So again, we are back with the Catherine to Garinov combo. Anna Cecilia, Benshina, you know, just the usual stuff. Gloria at the back is just to silence whoever that, whoever charmers that's trying to come in and ruin our life, just do that. Okay, Cecilia skip as always because she is there to help to absorb the AOE at the beginning of the stage. Wait, is Benshina even a need? I have a feeling you don't need Benshina. Why do I bring her? Let me figure out. I think you don't need Benshina, but I could be wrong. Uh, we're gonna try it afterwards, I guess. So far... Okay, she does help divert the attacks a little bit. So Catherine going in, right? And then we have Gary not afterwards. Boom! And that's about it. So again, like you have seen. So yeah, Seto will take care of this guy, so don't worry. Like you have seen, uh, the Catherine to Gary North combo. Again, if you don't have Gary North plus zero, somewhat, you can use Showman. Alright, Showman will need plus 13 or 14 to make it really, really strong. But let me see if I don't use Benshina. Do I need Benshina right here? So yeah, maybe Seto cannot take that much of a damage. Because, you know, Seto is based off the guard and stuff. So now they are attacking back. Front, front, front. Yep. So I'm guessing that's why. Yeah, that's why you need Benshina. Alright. So or else it messes everything up. So you need Benshina because Seto can only take so much hits. Alright guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think of the strategies. And if you guys have your own strategy that you want to share with the rest of the community, feel free to do so in the comment section below. I'll be sure to check them out as well. And you know, I'm curious as well uh, if there are various other strats that we can try out. Uh, yeah, Underground Evil Castle has been quite fun for me for the last couple of days. I've been grinding them, uh, trying out various methods. So this one I did after the, the Octo rework. Uh, with Seto, everything is definitely much easier now, so there's no excuse for you guys not to be able to achieve it. Unless you pick Belliaf, then you don't have Seto. But if you pick Belliaf, I assume you have a plus 10 Seto lay lying around. Alright, so this uh, strategy that I use right here sort of need a plus 12 Seto. I think plus 10 Seto might die faster. So get that Seto to plus 12 and then you'll be able to tackle all 5 of these stages easily. Okay, so if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, give this video a like and turn on the notifications so that you won't miss out any other guides that I'm posting in the near future. Alright, so have a nice day. Goodbye.